something you always wanted to tell your parents but couldn't until now. I'm adopted. <laughs> okay, other people Dorothy might have met and what they would have asked the wizard for. Hey, Dorothy. Hi. I'm the Teflon eunuch. <laughs> Got our troubles. <laughs> World's worst person to share an elevator with. <laughs> the last thing Drew Carey thinks before he drifts off to sleep. Maybe tomorrow I'll lick his head. Would you say you're a country mouse or a city mouse? What are you talking about, you crazy dame? <laughs> Can you say I'm in the middle of a job? Keep it quiet. Just keep the car running. <laughs> all right, all right. Put all your money in the bag. I got a gub. Oh, no, uh, gun. Gun, gun. All right. Oh, damn. Oh, no. No. Ah! Push that buzzer! Ooh. Jeez it, the cops! Good idea. Keep your weight secret. We're going to do the weight, you know, things you feel about your weight. Uh -huh. Hold down. I don't think it's funny that I'm overweight. People make fun of me. Boy, that isn't great. The things that they said, boy, it's made me cry. Some kid snuck up and wrote Goodyear on my side. <laughs> Colin and Ryan are going to have to reenact the scene using the exact same body movements, but of course they have to make up their own words because they don't know what the scene's about. The scene is... Uh, with the boss arriving for dinner at any moment, panicky Kathy is struggling to get into her tight outfit while her husband Wayne is frantically trying to fix a burst pipe under the bathroom sink. Help! Help! Okay! No, help! All right! Help! 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 Get my arm off! Oh, thank you! Oh, I can't breathe! I can't breathe! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh. Let me help you. Let me help you. I got you. Isn't that great? Isn't that great? Isn't that great? I'm still. I got it. It's out. It's out. Man, I thought you were going to hurt each other. That. Uh, oh, we do that all the time. <laughs> Thousand. Ryan and Colin, the scene is a couple ride donkeys into the Grand Canyon <laughs> for a romantic overnight camping trip. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Sounded like a wolf. <laughs> what? Somebody left a phonograph. <laughs> is this, is this a... It's a sound effects record. Isn't that strange? Huh. Oh. <laughs> you. You. It's broken. Oh. You. My little doohickey broke in the. You. Oh. We better pitch a tent. Right. Here is one in my backpack. Okay. <laughs> uh. Oof. Oh. I wish there was room for two of us. <laughs> My tent has a leak. I'm scared. What? And think of as many examples as we can of the world's worst what, Kathy? World's worst person to be married to. 
Well, another day of helping horses mate. <laughs> Women have orgasms. <laughs> oh, thank you. Cut, 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 cut. I was doing the air. I yeah, I saw that. You know what? That was wonderful. You guys were great. That's a wrap. Really? You see what I did? Really? That is acting. What you did was crap. I've seen better performances than Flintstones on Ice. Welcome to the 6 o'clock news. I'm your anchor. Then you're going to pay me back that 10 bucks. Our top story today. Rockstar Prince has changed his name once again. After changing long-distance carriers, Prince, the artist formerly known as the artist formerly known as Prince, will now be known as the artist who formerly phoned with Sprint. What I need from the audience is, uh, what's a, a major event in your life? Uh, wedding. I heard wedding. We're going to do the wedding. That's kind of a major event for a lot of people. Not some people I know, but a lot of people. And uh, so, Laura, let's hear the wedding hoedown. When I think of my wedding day, it really sticks out in my mind. Gee, I love that woman. She was one great find. When I think of that night, boy, the memories do flow. On our honeymoon, we stayed up all night and watched the Drew Carey show. If statues could speak. <laughs> hey, come on, baby. Statues stay harder longer. <laughs> <laughs> Man, this could be, we could go all night with that. Things you don't want to see old people doing. <laughs> Outtakes from the Who's Line soap opera. Man, I should have read my contract. <laughs> I can't keep the secret any longer. Do you know why they always pick me to be the woman? Oh! <laughs> blind dates. Uh, let's hear the blind date hoedown whenever you're ready, Laura Hall. I had a blind date. It really was the pits. Nothing worked all night. I kept getting hit. She really was abusive. Man, oh man, oh man. But what else can you expect when your blind date is Roseanne? The right way and the wrong way. You're the only woman I've ever loved. You're in the top 20. <laughs> Oh, this is good. Things they never write songs about. I've got on my rubber glove. It's time now to think of love. Cause your prostate. It... Weird things to get turned on by. is a suggestion of a glamorous profession. Dentist. Dentist is good. Professor. Oh, good. Your choice. That's a good one. The dentist and the professor hoedown with Laura Hall on the piano. I am a dentist. My duty I won't shirk. My assistant wants to do all of my work. No, you can't, I said to her. Her name is Ruth. Why not? She said, I said, you can't handle the tooth. Huh? I'm not one of those people who think age matters. Do you? No. Sister, I can take it both on. <laughs> I 
love old movies. What kind of movies do you like? Oh. <laughs> I like them where the action is hot and heavy. I haven't felt this wrapped up since the big one. What, what, what was the big one? You'll see. Okay, what I need for the audience is a suggestion of a thing in life that you dread. Oh, midterms. Uh, midterms. Okay, uh, Laura, whenever you're ready, let's hear the good old midterm hoedown. I'm in the middle of midterms from my study room. I do not stir. Everything's coming at me. There's too much 